Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day today. As you guys can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing some tie-dyeing, we're gonna be doing some dog washing, some dog grooming. We're gonna be giving this little man, he's sleeping right now. We're gonna be giving him a long-awaited groom. We're gonna be trimming him, we're gonna be giving him a wash. We're just gonna have a phenomenal day. We're also gonna be doing tie dye. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this video just came from me watching Jenna Marble's video about tie dyeing and I was like, damn, I wanna tie dye all my clothes. At the moment, we currently have a pile of all those clothes to tie dye. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I didn't actually have like a huge um, preparation for this video. This video was actually supposed to be, to be like a productive day in quarantine. Cause still in quarantine so we love that it's currently 11 37 so since you're supposed to leave tie-dyeing out for like a long amount of period of time like over five or six hours i decided to do it like first then we can like let it dry and then wash and then we can like show the the end result like later on like, instead of making this like a more like formal video i'm just gonna be making it kind of like a vlog style i hope you guys like this video remember to like subscribe comment below what you guys want to see okay let's get started see the first oh god don't mind that i don't we need to power wash our house okay it's fine it's cool the lighting is gonna change dramatically throughout this video but we're just gonna let that go so let's just say i have a lot of clothes which you guys will see in upcoming video actually for today's tie-dye project i'm gonna tie-dye this old shirt that just says middle tennessee so i don't actually wear this shirt a lot i decided it'd be fun like shirt just to randomly tie dye. The next shirt I got is a long sleeve. It's just the long sleeve that just says Hawaii. My mom went to a business trip or whatever to Hawaii. She took my dad and I and we ended up getting to stay at like the Ritz Carlton and like we just had a whole bunch of fun. But anyway, so this shirt is from that. Next is this Outer Banks one that I got last summer. I this is literally my favorite hoodie ever. It feels so soft and I just really want to see how it looks tie-dyed. Then I actually, I actually don't know where I got this hoodie from. There's this, I think I either got it from like a party or like a bar mitzvah or something. I don't wear it anymore, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the next t-shirt, uh, I actually, oh, uh, it's just a random, <laughs> it's literally just a random t-shirt. The next shirt I got, this this kicks karate summer camp um so when i did karate just like a t-shirt that i found in the back of my closet so we'll see how it turns out lastly but not least is this t-shirt that says acetique it just says class of 2020 and it has everybody in my class this shirt was given out to us during it was like kind of our like a class trip shirt or whatever as you guys can see like around the top and the collar and stuff it started bleaching itself mostly from just being put in the wash a lot and this shirt i don't actually wear a lot because mostly it has like a hole in the armpit so we're just gonna tie dye it because you know it's already dyed enough so for this activity i didn't actually have any rubber bands i actually might but i need to look so we're just gonna use some hair ties that i have because i have like seven packs of these so i figured why not also i have this tie dye water bottle it's actually from one of my other tie-dye kits but it was part of the brown color as you guys can see on the top and i was like no one uses brown so i literally just took it we're gonna go ahead and get plastic bags we just need plastic bags and i need to go look for rubber bands and then we also need to fill this up half with bleach and half with water i think it's like half bleach half water see how it turns out okay let's Let's go find some garbage cans. Nope, not garbage cans. Garbage, 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 trash bags, trash bags. That's what it is. Yeah, so we don't have any rubber bands, so we're just gonna stick to our like original plan. And we're gonna grab some trash bags. Do we want black or do we want white? Um, okay, well, white is the closest and I don't wanna go upstairs. We're just gonna get like three, one, two, three yeah we're just gonna we're gonna put this back because oh my god okay we're just gonna... so now that we got the garbage bags we're gonna go ahead and take this and fill it up now that we have bleach we're gonna fill it up with half water and half bleach wait okay am i supposed to do this with hot or cold water we're gonna do cold i guess or lukewarm that's about half we're gonna say it's half probably shouldn't have worn my favorite hoodie but that's okay. Oh my god, wait. I need a funnel. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm gonna bleach something. Oh my god. Yeah, also, I need to grab a pair of gloves. I'm not trying to get it all over my hands. I do have pants. I do have pants on. I have shorts on. 
it's a hoodie so let's get over it thank you when i originally thought of this video i wasn't actually intending it to be anywhere specific also i forgot the sun is shining directly into here so a i'm gonna get like sun cast whatever it is and then b i'm i'm stupid for not having sunglasses so this is probably a bad idea mostly because i can't see over here have all of her plastic bags down. I'm gonna start rolling, I guess. Oh my god, my phone's being dramatic today. But so now that we have all of our stuff, you can't even tell where it is, I'm not gonna lie. The exposure on here is tremendously disgusting. So now that we have all of our stuff down and prepped, what we're gonna do is A, <laughs> roll up my sleeves. I think I want to roll the hoodie first. We're gonna look at Jenna Marble's tie-dye, the tie-dye with bleach. Like I really liked how she did her hoodie. Okay, well, she just scrunched it up. So there's nothing to it. I'm gonna scrunch it up and then see how it goes. We're also just gonna scrunch up some other- I'm just gonna scrunch up the, the other ones as well. Yeah, so yeah. Oh my god, Kevin, hey buddy. So there's gonna be bleach here, bub. Go here! Didn't work. I'm gonna try this hoodie first. Ew. Ew. Kevin, I'm trying to do some tie-dyeing here and I don't think you should be here because it has bleach, bud. I guess she just like crumpled it up. I'm not exactly sure how she did it, but we're just gonna like crumple it up. Oh my God, well, see, I can see why they use, oh my God, I can see why they use rubber bands now. Yeah, I gotta, gotta test the endurance of, oh my God, this is literally gonna turn out like shit. If you're scrunchy, you cannot go through tie-dyeing processes. It is not good enough for your hair. Hi, buddy. Hey, Kevin, your ass literally has been hanging in the frame this whole entire time. This is how the first one turned out. It's literally like a C. I'm gonna do this hoodie first because I'm kind of scared that I'm gonna run out of scrunchies before I'm done with this. Except it didn't crack, but just the end cracked. No. So we have this. We have our gloves. I love that sound. It's so funny to make around people because they're like, ew. I'm just gonna start with this one. This is. It's already taken. Please. It's already taken all the color out. Oh. All right. That's cool. Just gonna dive in there. Shirt number one is done. So far, so currently this is how everything looks. The shadow over here is kind of messing it up, but this one's like greenish, the hint of blue. This one's like green and yellow. And then that one's like blue and it's gonna be turning like white. That one's like fully white over here. This one's like gray, light gray. This one's the one I just did and this one is like purplish. Let me get my phone put on. So it's currently 1.08 right now. I'm gonna let those dry for about five or six hours. So I'll be back around like five or six. In the meantime, we're gonna go give Kevin a bath. We're gonna go give him a nice little cut because honey, he needs it. Then we'll check on the tie-dye a little bit later. Yeah, that's literally all I got, so. Okay, I'll see you when I go give Kevin a nice little bath and see what happens. Okay, let's go say. She workers, it's cold. Alrighty. Whoa, they look so cool. It's currently 2.45 and I ate some lunch. Yeah, that's literally what I did. I ate some lunch and then I let my, my camera charge. They're turning out pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So a little bit closer, this one. Oh wait, this one's, whoa, that's cool. This one's gray, it's a darker undertone. This one's green, ooh, it's still wet. And this one's like purple with the underside of pink. Hopefully it's not just gonna stay pink because I want it to be white. But anyway, right now we are, well, currently Kevin's being a little pale in the butt. I'm letting him outside to enjoy the air and get dirty one last time before I go make him take a bath. While Kevin's outside and enjoys the dirty mulch that is outside, 
We're gonna go and grab some shampoo, grab a towel. So what's actually gonna happen is that we're gonna give Kevin his shave first and then that way the extra fur to get off his skin and not itch him. So let's go do that. The only problem with allowing Kevin to be outside at this hour is his love for being outside. That's, that's literally the only thing that's horrendous about it. He loves being outside in really good weather, which means he never wants to come in, which means we won't be able to get this bath on track. Hey buddy, you ready? Sit. I said sit. I said sit. I just realized we need an extension cord. Um, so that's like really terrible. <laughs> so if you're just tuning into the video now, you might be like, Marina, like, you're crazy. Why are you giving your dog a haircut? Like, isn't there like groomers or isn't there like someone else who can do that? Well, one, quarantine. Two, yeah, can take him to like, places that would get his hair cut. He's not, he's just a very, very scaredy cat. And so when it comes to putting him in new places and getting his hair cut, they usually tend to put him in like a crate for like six hours of the day after they get his hair cut or him waiting for it or something like that. A couple years back, I started actually shaving Kevin myself. So he's in his little harness now. So while the sun is still with upon us, Let's start shaving this little dude. By the way, I'm in no means a professional dog groomer. Like I've searched up his breed. I've just done a little bit of research about their, like his breed type of hair they have and how I like to take care of it, cut it because there are certain dogs where the hair, if you don't like cut it correctly, like it ends up just actually ruining their hair and their hair growth and how their hair grows. So that's it. Okay, well let's, uh, let's get started. So it's currently a bit later and I've made a mess on the patio. Let's just say his hair is running wild. Someone's got an EG nose over there. It's currently 3.42. I think I'm going to have to stop giving Kevin a haircut. He's getting a little bit of anxiety out here. The sun is going down so it's becoming a little bit colder. For the most part I did his body. And that is how you clean up Kevin's hair. So it's currently 4... 20. I let Kevin go outside. Ooh, let's get started with this bath. So this is the main reason why I give him a bath after his haircut. Oh my god, you're so freaking heavy. I also forgot to mention that I give him a bath in our kitchen sink. Shoot, I also have to put his collar back on him. Oh, I really should wash this too. That's basically Kevin's like daily wash routine, I guess. So it's currently 4.37 and pretty much I'm done with Kevin's hair and I'm done with his shaving. I also finished the tie-dye, but I started the tie-dye around like 1... The tie-dye around like 1.30ish, which means it's not... Like it's only like three and a half hours. So I'm gonna wait until like 6.30 or so. I think I'm just gonna start like making me some like early dinner cause I'm hungry and then watch some shows and brush out Kevin cause that's a need. That's literally all I have to say right now. And I will see you guys later when I finish this vlog <laughs> or film, I don't know. We'll see, I'll see you guys later. Hi hey guys, pretty sure my mom's sleeping up today. Oh my God, I just did that. That hurt. Hi guys, so it's currently 5.59. I think I let tie-dye set as long as I want it to, and I think they've dyed enough. I don't really know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to rinse them off, obviously, and then I'm going to put them in the washer and dryer, and then make myself dinner, and then show you guys the end result. So, at the moment, here's what we have. Let's go inside, and let's take these inside, rinse them off, and I'll show you guys the process of doing that. I just got these out of the washer, no, the dryer. And hear me out, they really, 
they surprised me, let's just say that. I'm pleasantly surprised of what I got. Honestly, I'll show you guys what each one looks like, except I'm pretty sure I really cannot fit in this shirt because it's a it's a youth small. So, but I can try and put it on. Let me try it on. So honestly, I'm not mad at this shirt. What I might do is I might just like end up cropping it. That's the first shirt. I'm kind of liking it, honestly. Not gonna lie. Next shirt. So here's the Hawaii shirt. It's definitely not one of my favorites. It does give you the tie-dye effect on the arm a lot. I'm not gonna lie, this acetate shirt is probably my new favorite shirt literally to wear. The best part about it is that it kind of looks like clouds. So I'm literally swimming or living in clouds all day. Um, I don't know why it's registering me red. <laughs> so this is the next shirt. Yeah, it's cute. That's literally all I have to say about this one. So then there's this green one. No clue how I feel about this one. It's definitely not one of my favorites, but I mean, the tie-dye look is still there. So I'm not gonna lie. I really, really vibe with this hoodie. I really like resonate with it. It's really cool because like on the sleeve, you have the tie-dye, but like it's cut off here. Um, the hood, but it has like a little bit of it and neither does the back. But like, who really is like looking at the back? Oh my god. And it even did the straps. Oh my god. Speechless. I'm literally speechless. Oh my god. This definitely made me really happy. Except the only thing I hate is that this one looks like I just put like coffee on it. Like, it's not really like white, white yet. It's like weird, but it looks like I spilled coffee on it. So. Anyway, that literally brings it down to the end of my video. I hope you guys like this video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment below what you guys want to see. Follow all my socials. They will be in the link below. I will see you guys for more videos to come this week. Possibly this week. Maybe this week. If you guys like my tie-dang and want me to do more tie-dang, make sure you guys let me know. I'm... I don't know. I really like these results. Oh, actually, Kevin wants to say hi. Hold on. We are boy. Kevin wants to say bye to you guys, too. <laughs> um, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below, and we will see you guys in the next video. Until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Whoa. See, under actual lights, that is literally the only time you can actually see my eyes. I'm not gonna lie.